Hello everyone. This is Dr. Minakshi M. Maste, professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry at Kaili College of Pharmacy, Bragami. Today, I am going to discuss the synthesis of benzatriazole. The principle and the reaction mechanism involved in the synthesis of benzatriazole. This can be prepared by treating orthophyll in diamine as a starting material with sodium nitrate and glycyl acetic acid which liberates nitrous acid during the reaction to form the benzatriazole. It will form the monodizonium salt Further, it follows spontaneously reaction and takes intramolecular cyclization reaction to produce the benzatriazole. The applications of this product is used as intermittent in several organic reactions. It can be used as chelating agent in various synthesis and it shows uh, uh, effective antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties. Also, it shows anti-inflammatory. Okay, let's begin with the procedure. So, in the RBF, we are taking uh, 2.7 grams of orthophyllene diamine. I'm adding 2.9 ml of glycyl acetic acid and uh, 7.5 ml of water. And I'm going to stir it for 10 to 15 minutes. If it is not dissolving, I'm just going to warm on water bath until it dissolves completely. So you can see the reaction, the red color is producing. So with continuously stirring, you are warming so that the orthophyllene diamond completely dissolves. Okay, you can see that it's completely dissolved. It's a, you can see the color also. We'll wait for some time that it cool it. So you can see this is the, uh, it has cooled. Now in another beaker, I have taken uh, 1.9 grams of sodium nitrate and 4 ml of water. This mixture I am going to add in the orthophyllene diamine in the R, which is taken in the RBF. At once only, at one portion only I am going to add. So you can see there is a color change from the red to dark brown and when you touch there is a, there is an exothermic reaction taking place so it goes to 80 to 85 degree temperature so keep on stirring the reaction mixture for five five minutes so there is a formation of the monodizonium salt and there is a liberation of nitrous acid which will react with the orthophyllene diamine to form the benzotriazole. Okay, it is beginning to cool and continuously stir for 15 minutes. So it is cooled, then we are going to place this reaction mixture in the ice bath for 30 minutes. So you can see it has been placed in ice bath. You can see the color, the change in the color from red to brown.
this is a disonium salt so we have to wait for half an hour until the crystals of benzotriazoles has been formed after 30 minutes in the ice bath you can see the crystals are formed of benzotriazole the product which has been formed we are filtering it Thank you for watching.